Hello, my name is Megan, and today we're going to be going through the Make Your Own Playground Engineering Challenge. So for this challenge, you're going to design a playground for a set of dolls. To complete this challenge, you will need dolls that are all about the same size, and they should be the size of a Barbie doll or smaller, various recycled materials, string and yarn, scissors and tape, and other household items that you would be interested in using. You'll also need an adult volunteer to help with cutting materials and tape. Before we get started, we're gonna look at, we're gonna do some brainstorming. So the first part of this brainstorming is we're gonna look at different parts uh, that you might find in a typical playground. A lot of playgrounds have swing sets. Slides. Or monkey bars. What are some other things that you enjoy doing at a playground? If you still if you still want to do some more brainstorming activities for to create your playground, these are some things you might want to try. Make a list of all your favorite parks and playgrounds that you've been to. And in that list, say what are your favorite things about those parks and why they're, make, why they're your favorite parks. Ask other Girl Scouts what they enjoy doing at the park. You would also, with an adult's help, look at different types of parks throughout the world and even in your own community. You can pause the video here to do some more brainstorming or we can go on to design. Now that you know what you want to have in your park, we're gonna draw out what you want, the design for your park. Engineers draw out designs on pen and paper all the time. It helps us visualize what we want to make and how we plan on making it. And it also helps us communicate with our friends who may also be helping us with the project or working on similar projects what we are thinking. Because of all these benefits, it's a crucial part of the design process. When drawing out your design, you wanna think what, the things you wanna think about are what types of equipment do you plan on having in your playground? And also what type of material you have. It may be helpful to gather all the material you have available to you before you start drawing your design. Pause the video here while you finish drawing out your design. Once you have your design, it's time to build. To build your design, you're going to use the materials that you've decided beforehand that you wanted to use. It is crucial at this stage that you have an adult's help when using scissors or if there's anything else that you are unsure of. It might also be useful to take the doll that you're planning on using um, and have it test out, have her test out the different uh, playground parts while you're building it so you can get the height correct and make sure that it is strong enough to hold the doll. Be sure to it, pause the video here while you decide on how to build your design and go through the building process. Now that you've built your playground, it's time to enjoy. Have fun.